Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna do a makeup look today and I wanna use some of the makeup I recently purchased. I also hauled most of it on my channel here already. So I already primed, I used my MAC strobe cream in gold light and I also used my Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter in shade seven. Now originally I was gonna use my Catrice foundation and I was really excited to try this, but I didn't swatch it or anything. Still had a little tape on it. I swatched it. It's way too light. I was thinking I could work with it by bronzing it up and stuff like that. But just a swatch on my hand, I know it's going to be ashy. So eventually, it's only $10.99. I'm going to have to get another shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus. Because I plan on using her... Um, trying out her concealer today um i have this in the shade 88 y and i've demoed this foundation on my channel already i absolutely love it so i'm just gonna go ahead and start putting that on All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use her new concealer. This is the um, Transfix Matte Concealer. I have mine in the shade 18YW. W is for warm, Y is for yellow. Um, I think this retails at 28 bucks. And she said it can also be used as a foundation. I've seen her use it as a foundation on her channel. It has this little paddle applicator. I don't really love the applicator. To me, it's so tiny. And I'm just going to pad that on. And this has, there's yellow, but it has a lot of peach. I prefer my concealers to be yellow, but um, peach may not be too bad. I color corrected today as well under my eye. So peach may not be too bad. Yeah, it definitely has... Um, peach undertones. All right, so I'm going to blend it out a little bit with my finger and then I'm going to go in with my sponge. And this says it's matte and there's no creasing. My hard stuff is usually good, so let's see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it out with my sponge. All right, this is the concealer blended out and first impressions, to me it's just okay. Definitely full coverage, but it's, I don't know. It doesn't, I don't like the way it feels. Like I like a more creamy concealer. It's definitely matte. Kind of looks matte as well. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's continue. I'm not sure how, um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it right now, but so far it's just okay. So although it's matte, I'm going to go ahead and set it and I'm going to use her HD powder and I have it in the shade 02. Not feeling this concealer yet. I don't know. Like it's almost well. I don't know if I like how matte it is. I think that's what it is. But let's see. Maybe after you know, I use my setting spray and stuff like that. I don't know, but. A little disappointed right now. I had higher hopes for this. All right, so I'm gonna take a break from my face and I'm gonna go to the eyes. I wanna use both my, um, this is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Eyeshadow. And I also wanna use this Color Fix Pigment from Vanessa Marricks. Um, I swatched this on my hand because I wanted to play with it a little bit. And it dries really fast. So I'm thinking if I put 
just this on my eye. I don't know if I have the sophistication or skill to like really blend this out to make it look decent. So I figured I'll find a way to use it today and I'll keep practicing and then maybe I can do like a eye look using it while, you know, I figure out exactly how to use it. So um, I'm going to use this and before I put this on, I'm going to go in with, um, I want a base. I'm going to put my Tom Ford um, his cream eye, eye base and this is in 04 Spice. I've hit pan. I absolutely love this. I'm just going to put this on with my finger. I just want that um, liquid eyeshadow to have a nice base. And under this, I'm wearing my MAC 24-7 Extend Eye Base. I felt that would be the perfect primer for that. And I'm going to go over top with the Smashbox with this. And this one is um, called Bax Fire. And I was so excited to finally try this. All right, so let's see. And I'm putting it all over the lid and I'm gonna go in with my finger. Oh, it's pretty. And just pat that out and blend it out. And it's not, um, it's not as liquidy as it looks in the packaging it's oh wow it's beautiful i love it it's more um what's the word i'm looking for here it's more matte so i think it's easy to uh control all right i'm gonna take some of my coconutty bronzer and i'm just gonna um go around the edges to I thought I had my blending brush. This is a flat shader brush, but I'll try to make it work. Um, just to clean up the edges. But it's it's beautiful. And it looks a lot more um, bronze and more bronze and golden on the lid as compared to how it looks in the tube. All right, so now how I'm going to use this, the color fix. I'm very nervous about it because, like I said, it's a little difficult to work with. It dries very quickly. So this is in the shade Phoenix. It's like a orange peach. At first I was just saying orange, but there's definitely some kind of peach and a little bit of pink in there as well. So I'm going to use it as maybe like a liner for a pop of color. And I'm not the best at liner or anything like that, so... Don't be judging me. And I'm gonna take this little flat brush and hopefully it works out. So this is it on my hands. I think I may have put a little too much, but let's see. And I'm really hoping to get like a nice, I don't know, winged eye with this. I'm gonna look down in the mirror that I have here. Okay, let's see. All right, I think I need a little bit more. All right, so this is the wing that I created. It took a little while, so I had to um, go off camera. So I'm gonna add lashes to it and finish the other eye, and I'm gonna be right back. <sighs> so I'm back with lashes and liner on. This is like 45 minutes later. Oh my God, I had such a hard time playing with this Color Fix pigment. I tried to do like a wing solo show. It was a disaster. I tried cleaning it up with concealer. So I ended up with this little tiny wing. Um, and then I tried to put some on the bottom for a pop of color. 
this is something I really have to practice working with because, and it dries so quickly. So it's hard to, if you don't move fast, you can't really manipulate it anyway. But I do love the color and the, the whole like concept of it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my foundation and um, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. I think this is in 03. I'll have everything listed in the description box. And I'm still not feeling this um, Natasha Denona concealer. I don't, I don't think I like it. And um, this is probably like the first, I think like the first product from Natasha Denona that I don't like. It's not creasing or anything, but something about it. I don't. I can't put my finger on it. I don't, I don't like the texture of it. Not my favorite. And a makeup look for me doesn't get completed without me adding some of my Laura Mercier um, glow powder in medium deep. I'm just gonna go around my face with this. It gives your face such a nice glow. I was expecting more from, um, I was expecting more from this concealer. Definitely a little disappointed, but at least the price wasn't like astronomical to wear. You know, I have like a whole bunch of regrets buying it, but Definitely not my favorite thing from her. I'm going to go ahead and bronze around my face with my Fenty powder in Coconati. I have been loving this. Okay, for blush, I'm using my brand new Charlotte Tilbury blush, and this is in the Climax. And let me use a smaller brush. And these are the type of blushes I like that just has like a nice sheen. It just has like a peachy brown color to it. It's very pretty. Then I'm going to set my face and come back to put like um, my highlighter and stuff on using my Murphy setting spray as usual. For highlighter, I'm going in with the Vanessa Myricks. This is her, what is it called again? Her Light Work Palette. I've been looking forward to using this, using my Anastasia brush. And I'm going to start with this beautiful dark bronze shade in the middle. Oh yes, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's very creamy, very easy to work with. Just so pretty. All right, for lips, I am going to try out my Mademoiselle lipstick from Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade I Quit. I also hauled this in my um last video so i applied my ColourPop lip liner and look at that in pitch and it fell right out it's like down to the stumps i need to get another one because i love that lip liner so much okay so let's go in with this and this is like a cool tone brown with like gray And I'm just keeping it in the center. Hmm. Very pretty. And I own these already, so I do like the formula. It's a matte, but it's it's a comfortable matte. And 
I don't want to leave it matte, so I'm just going to pop some gloss over top. And I'm going to use my MAC gloss. This is from the Taraji B. Henson collab. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so this is the finished look using, well, most of the products that I hauled. Um, I don't really like this concealer. I don't know if you've tried it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. I love the color fix. I just have to practice more. I, I have to learn how to work with it more. Because I would love to do like a full eye look with it. I, I'm going to practice and I'm definitely going to do eye look on my channel. I do like it though. I'm sorry I couldn't do like use it more. But um, I didn't want it to get too messy. And I struggled so much just to do a line. So could you imagine the whole lid? Um, love this palette. So good. Love the blush. Um, love the lipstick. Yeah, so this is the finished look guys. It's not bad. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you again in my next video. Bye, guys.